Hello some pilots and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today is going to be just a quick one to show you how to use the new SimBrief integration with the PMDG 737. That's going to make setting up the FMC in the Boeing 737 a breeze. So let's jump into the flight deck and show you how it's done. Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and look at the Universal Flight Tablet. And we have a flight plan done inside of SimBrief. So if we have a look at our SimBrief flight plan, it is KLM1575 from Amsterdam to Athens. Let's just have a look at the operational flight plan over here. And this is all the information that we're going to be importing into the FMC. So if we hop on over to the FMC, nav data out of date. Okay, today's the 1st of December, so the nav data expired yesterday. I need to update that. But first things first, let's go to FMC, let's just clear that. And while we're here, we can go to position initialization. And then our reference airport is Echo Hotel Alpha Mike. Stick that in there. Our route is going to be from Echo Hotel Alpha Mike. And now we can do flight plan request. And here it is, a sim brief route, Echo Hotel Alpha Mike to Lima Golf Alpha Victor. Now over here we have all the other flight plans that we have downloaded and saved into the root files folder for the PMDG 737. Now that's actually no longer even required. We can just di directly import it from SimBrief. So we're going to select that one over there. And then at the same time now we can directly import the payload and the fuel from SimBrief. So here we have a block fuel of 10.8 and a zero fuel weight of 52.4. And if we have a look at our operational flight plan, that matches block fuel of 10761 so it's rounded up to 10.8 and our zero fuel weight of 52.4 which matches what's on the flight on the operational flight plan over here there we go 52.4 so we can just select it over here so we're going to go set fuel and it says some brief block fuel set and we can click on set payload and it says some brief payload set so there we go we have the 10.8 tons of fuel imported directly from some brief and then we're going to go select route and then we're going to go flight plan request we'll give it a few seconds to populate the flight plan then we go load we're going to give it a few seconds to uplink the route there we go and that's our route you can confirm it by having a look at the route on your operational flight plan and here's your route over here you do permits go as bon to sukutaba there we have it over there. Dupo Mizgo Asbon to Sukutaba. Momak, I'm probably pronouncing these all wrong. But anyway, you can go through the flight plan and have a look that everything matches as it should be. And then you can activate it over there and then press execute. You continue with the performance initialization. So we're going to go request, wait for a few seconds. Performance initialization uplink ready. So let's load it. And there we have it's loaded. So we have zero fuel weights of 52.4, reserves 2.9, caustics is 74. Cruising flight level altitude of 390. Cruising winds. Now, the only thing you might have to change on this is your flight level. Because SimBrief is uh, notorious for having inaccurate flight levels selected if you leave it at a default flight level. If you don't um, insert the flight level that you want to fly it yourself when you're doing a SimBrief flight plan, you might have something that's far too low over there so what you want to do is you want to change it to a, a more suitable flight level yourself so you can execute that and if you want to change the cruising altitude you can just type in something and override it should you wish 390 is correct for mine because i did do that inside of SimBrief. i'm going to leave it as it is and you can go to n1 limit now i'm going to use just random numbers for this setup over here because at the moment i am enrolled into the sim update 14 beta and it is causing a little bit of problems with the takeoff performance calculations over here on the UFT. So that's not working at the moment. So you can just select the standard takeoff and climb if you so wish, or a derate to takeoff and climb. Takeoff page, you can use flaps 5 or 10, it's pretty standard. Select your CG to get your trim. Now I haven't done the IRSs. So let's just go over to the overhead panel and set those to nav. And then we need to set the IRSs. I'm just going to select that one over there. That's done. Now we can go back to the 
departure page and select our departure. So we're going to go departure, 1 8 left, Randy 2 echo, insert that over there. Go back to our initialization, performance initialization. Set our B speeds. And there you have it, a very quick tutorial on how to set up the FMC in the PMDG 737 using the new SimReef integration. Makes it a lot quicker, a lot easier. You don't have to type in the route. You don't have to save flight plans and folders and etc. etc. You just import it directly from your SimReef account into the FMC and that is done nice and easy. Right, that's all we have for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this short little video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Jump on the Discord, we'll chat to you there. Otherwise, happy flying, and I'm going to head on down to Athens now. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.